Hello. Uh, let's get over here and just. All right. So um, I don't know who's joined. No one's joined yet, but I want to just say uh, hello. Thank you for uh, for checking this out. When you do, if you watch this pre-recorded, obviously. I'm uh, Michael Gracia. I know a lot of people have been streaming lately. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do. So uh, now with everybody uh, not going to work, I have time to explore it. Um, so I'm going to get this started. I think... Uh, I think even though no one's come, I will be uploading this later. So let's start this right and with an intro. Thank you for joining. Uh, whoever just joined, please comment to let me know. Um, you guys, I don't know if you just saw the intro I just did. It was a little thing I made, but I'm going to be uh, just cartooning, um, having some fun today. Um, it's really for me to help me learn the, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for, the, the software I'm using. I want to start doing a little bit more streaming because of uh, I have the time now. So let's move on over to my screen here. I will be using Photoshop, as you can see over here. Um, I'll transfer over to the screen. And today I'm just going to just draw a sketch, have a little fun with it. Um, so let's, let's begin. I think um, today... I want to start with maybe some kind of video game stuff. I've always kind of been a fan of video game characters. I'm not a huge fan of playing video games, but I like uh, I always like the design of characters. Mario's been my favorite, which is why I'll probably start with him right now. And again, this will be my style, so it's not like uh, it may not look exactly like how Mario should. Or is expected to. So I'm just going to do my and I don't know if I'm going to do any inking today if I feel up to it. I think I'm just going to uh, stick with pencil. And I don't know what the current Mario looks like, whatever style they're using. This is more of a, I want to call it a classic look, kind of what we used to use years ago or even with uh, the, the old cartoon series from, what was it, the 80s? in that body. Let me see a few more people join. Uh, feel free to comment. Let me know who's in the room here. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just say hi. Let's get him. I don't want him standing still. Let's have him. Kind of let's get him. 
Let's go like this with his body. This arm over here, right? Like that. that feels better to me. I know this is kind of a weird looking piece, but I'm thinking of uh, I'm kind of in a in a jump position here. I think he's got those lines right. So there he is jumping over something. I'll figure out what he's jumping over in a moment. Mm -hmm. Fix that there. A little bit more of his. I don't like that foot either. So I'm going to erase that foot I have going on here. Eraser. And let's fix that foot. Kind of more. Yeah, I like that a little better. That looks better than that. And we'll put a little. Goomba like character. So there's a little feet stuff there. So Uh, so. All right, so there he is. He's jumping over. Let's go. Let's go. Pipes in the background. Why not, right? There's a little Mario piece. Um, I'm going to stick with the video games. Maybe, uh, I don't know, I, I know I created, a, I created a folder earlier. Let me go to my computer. I just pulled up some reference of different video games and cartoon characters I was thinking about drawing today. So, let's see. You know what? I don't have a picture of him, but I think we all know how, to, how he looks. Let's do a Sonic piece. So, let's get a circle for his head. I teach a lot of kids how to draw Sonic. They seem to really 
like the character. And what I love about it, it always feels like I'm starting off with drawing Mickey Mouse. Actually, let's undo that. I want him a little bit long. Yeah. Yeah, his tongue hanging out. He'll be running here. He's got his ear up here. He's got one big. He goes, what is it, too big and then a small one. It's been a while since I've uh, drawn him. Let's get his body. Not like so, and let's we'll bring this on back. This on will come forward. Let's bring this down. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using a service I'm just learning about. It's called StreamYard. Um, this is for my streaming. I don't know if anyone's commenting. I can't see it. I don't even know who's on. Um, let me see if there's a way I could look in into it. Yeah, I don't know right now. Uh, I would love to show uh, I'd love to get um, get to know who's in here. Um, it works when I use it works when I use YouTube. I can see who's on and I can well, I can read the comments. I think he has a little circle there. Again, been a while since I've drawn him. Let's get some smoke. Dust. Let's get the road. On him here. Yeah. So there, I got a got a bit of a sonic there. I've been drawing them while. Definitely could use some reference, but uh, not not too bad. Let's do uh, let's do another. Character, maybe a uh, maybe a Mega Man style, or just Mega Man in general. Um, I've always loved the design of Mega Man. Never really played too well. I'm not a big gamer, but just always loved the look, and I feel just my natural. He works well on my natural style if I just add a little bit more of like a, a manga flair to my to my work. Specifically in his face. I'll make this side the cannon. I don't remember which side it's usually on if it's both. Again, I'm not usually a a player, so I don't I don't know. I don't like that arm the way it's coming out. Come on, erase. I'll go back and clean these up in a little bit. Um, I just like to kind of loosen up and play, play kind of rough. Um, in the beginning. It's going to be a mess with my work. 
I always kind of like that helmet that kind of goes over. So yeah, it may not look like it's clean work or, but I just love to love to sketch and get the idea down before I pick the drawing that I really wanna I wanna work with. And kind of get a little, a little snicker here. Still don't like that arm here. I think if I do it. I wish you guys were able to comment so I can interact with you a little better than me just talking um right now but i'll figure out why that's not working because it worked last night when i when i streamed from my get in tune page i was able to see the comments i don't know if it's because i'm working on a facebook like my, my standard profile as opposed to a page that i run there is a little Mega Man. I don't know what I'll do, what background I would add in there. Right now, but that's a nice rough for a Mega Man starting of a comic. Actually, I think this leg here should be, whoops, that something selected earlier. I guess I never did select it. T, bring it over a bit, scale it down. Just want a little further back. Uh, edit, turn, I think I need distort. Right? No. Nope. Undo that. Is it skew I think I want? That um, looks like the original there. Let's check that out. Let's move it over a bit. Okay, I think I like that better. So yeah, I got this Mega Man here. You know, I always loved the Mega Man they used in... Um, Captain and the Game Master, that cartoon. I just loved his design. He was a little short guy, kind of like this, his body. It was just very easy and fun to draw, you know. He had a, something here. And it was almost like Mega Man wearing a diaper or something. I think this was something like you look like. He had some markings on his on his glove there. But yeah, that was the Captain N one. Right here. And this is more traditional. Another character that I always liked, actually going back to, to what was it, Captain N? 
was their version of Simon Belmont um, from Castlevania. I always loved the... Uh, I like the goofiness of the character. Um, so I think I'm going to use him kind of as an inspiration for Castlevania type of character. I'm not going to make it look exactly like him, but use use some of the the features that they used on him I had a small kind of nose like that big smile right oh he's showing off his chin and his teeth okay let's give him yes body yeah, I'm not gonna, gonna move this all up here Hang on. I wasn't gonna have room for his feet. So, also with, uh, you know, I don't know what you guys have been doing in your time away from the world, but I've been sitting home doing a lot of artwork, trying to figure out the streaming stuff here. Uh, like I said, I'm using um, StreamYard as my service and I'm really liking it. I don't know why though I can't I don't know if anyone's commenting. I can't see who's online. I can't read comments for some reason. Um don't know if anyone actually commented or not, but um I'll get back to you after I you know when I post this. If, um put this arm on his hip right there. And let's fix this arm here. So, showing off his muscles. All right. So this is kind of my uh, Captain in the Game Master, Simon Belmont. But it's not. It's not going to be that. It's just based off him. We'll make another kind of heroic character. Um, let me see. Do I have? Whoops. Undo that line. Come over here. I have some reference material. Let me see if I got a good Captain N. Simon Belmont. Okay, that wasn't bad. So he looks like he wore just kind of like a, a heavy coat. Uh, had some goggles on top of his head. Um... And I believe he had like cargo pants and a backpack and a whip. He also wore an ascot and his hair was much higher. But let's work off with what I have here. So I'm going to give him some boots. Let's give him some high boots. And maybe make his pants a little baggier. Let's actually, I got to move his knee right here. Let me do that. Should turn off the touch feature. Let me fix this leg here. Okay, so this should be coming out. No, I chose the wrong brush, sorry. Okay, and this will be coming out over here like so. And uh, I like the I like the idea of that conceited hero. So let's give him I need the same thing. He's gonna be kinda of like a monster fights monster. So let's see what would be good for someone who fights monsters. I, I do like the backpacks, so I'll add that after, but 
gonna maybe more should be more of a medieval or actually no, let's just do this. Let's start with a collar. Like I'm gonna put the jacket on him, something like that. And let's give him a large belt. And on that belt, just like he has, I'm gonna give him some pouches. I'll come out a bit almost like it's a bit of a tunic. Uh, let's make this more cargo pant like. So, hold on. A couple of giant pockets on the side. Let's do, uh, let's give him some gloves. And I think it won't be a jacket, but it will be kind of tunic like there. And this, when I'm coming around, we'll turn that more into like a cape. Now I can't put the backpack on him because he's got his cape on. So let's put his hand over here. Done. And I don't know what I want to do with that hand right now. I'm going to put some stuff across him. And in there, maybe I'll put some kind of, they look like grenades, but they'll be bottles filled with potions to fight off some monsters. Maybe they will need some straps going over it. We'll hold them in place, right? I'll just have him waving right now to you. You don't want him to have a headband. I was like that look. Uh, I think that was on the original box of the original game. Man had kind of a. Uh, Bandana type of thing there. Now this definitely isn't Simon Belmont, but it is some kind of Simon-inspired character. And some wrinkles that is around his eye there. Too thick. Too thick. There we go. All right. Let's do a uh, let's do maybe a cartoon animal. Um, how about Quickie of my uh, one of my favorites? Now, those who know me know I'm a huge Hanna-Barbera fan. But this will not be Hanna-Barbera. This is Walter Lance. Walter Lance is famous for Woody Woodpecker. But this isn't Woody either. This is one of my favorite Walter Lance characters. 
This is Chili Willy. I'm just always. Always liked him. I'm always making them look off in the same direction just because I want them to have them look like they're looking at you on screen right now, but. Uh, how about this arm will be out like this, and this arm will just be on his hip. Let's make sure we got this guy like so. A little bit more. Yeah, and I know I'm a very, very messy artist, but things do get cleaned up. Just not at the moment. So let's uh, maybe put a little leg glue behind him. It's actually kind of like that there. So I don't know if I finished saying, you know, everybody, you know, with everybody kind of home and in their houses, I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of artwork, trying to get this stuff set up here, and. Um, also been watching a lot of like Hulu and stuff and I've been re-watching Stargate Atlantis not Stargate um, Stargate Universe probably re-watch Atlantis the Stargate's my favorite uh, it's my favorite sci-fi so it's been kind of fun I got like two or three more episodes and I'll be done with the the series of Stargate Universe There's a little igloo floating on a little ice. <laughs> All right, and there's a chilly willy. Let's do, uh, Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to doodle around for fun right now and see uh, see what I come up with. I'm not going to be much longer. I'm only going to do some short stuff. Maybe I'll come back later tonight. Uh, it's kind of a big head, so... Kind of character. You can make with a big head like this. It's going to be some kind of animal. I love drawing cartoon animals. Oh, I know what I'll do with this here. Okay, we're gonna get him some buck teeth. This is a character I created off a friend of mine in high school. That I've never done anything with. The only thing that he had was the same first name as, as 
my friend. His name is Chris. And he is a... His character was a beaver. I don't remember if he came up with him or if I did. I think I came up with him. And he just gave me some ideas about making it a beaver and stuff. But, uh... And I've always used him. Just, he's been just kind of something I've doodled throughout the years. Actually, I think he used to wear a beret too. So let's, let's remove up here. Let's add a beret to it. If I'm remembering correctly now. It's been a long time since I drew And he had a turtleneck. Now I'm in total remembering. It's kind of a beatnik-like character. Step his foot there. You saw him over the out. Trying to see how to draw the character snapping his finger. So let's do come out here, maybe this, maybe this, like that. Like he's getting ready to snap and over here. Let's get his tail, his tail be out. So. In this hand. This hand, he is holding a saxophone. So there's a saxophone playing here. around him. I don't know what any of those notes mean. I know nothing about music. Let's put him on the stage. Maybe a microphone stand right here. That perspective is terrible. All right. And that right there. I think I'll end with that. So. Excuse me. So that was it. Wanna thank you for uh, for showing up, everybody who did. I'm sorry it's over now, but you can always visit gettingtune.net where I will be posting these. Um, or even sign up for my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Michael Gracia. Um, so again, thank you. I did a bunch of pictures, and I will look at one to clean up, and, uh, and that's it. I'll come back and stream again another day, or maybe even later today. All right. Have a great day, everybody.